Welcome back, comrades, after a short cut. We're gonna see what we can do in the future. I mean, this one should be a tech world, right? And we might re-operate that once we have enough people on Pager Prime. We're doing what we can to further this progress with the gene clinics. Now that we have also discovered other planets that are, that are settleable by... <laughs> by one immigrant population of Lithuids that went into our realm. Let's see, I, I, I want to show you. Where are they? Here, the Furbanite. The Furbanite. If Alpine preference, Lithuid, docile, communal, wasteful. I don't know where they come from, really. Um, let us have a look. Is there anyone that is like Furbanite here? Because they they also don't have a history. They seem to be just out of nothing. Out of nowhere they've come to us to help. Um, maybe the Loraxians? I'm not sure. Here, these guys... I don't know. Um, we have never seen anyone of them in a... in any kind of government position. So it's really something... something odd. Something that challenges us in a way. And so, I mean... This also means that we don't need that much food anymore. So there's there's a, a, a giant shift going on. As the, they can settle almost everywhere. It's we're gonna send them first to the planets where they have 100% habitability for obvious reasons. It's just better to have them there. Uh, from the cost, started at the cost and then yeah, continuing just about everywhere. And then we'll see what we can do. What what's going on here? Yeah, I mean we're going to go further here to Redamon. Finally, claim Redamon and maybe Nunus. Uh, Voltama. We, I mean, we could order this one to move here. Mm, we've got Rakaron here. But I think, yeah, I mean, the, the main thing is to defeat this ancient hive here, and then we can proceed a little bit. But until that happens, we can still expand, and that's also a good thing. There's something here, yeah, there's the scavenger bot, and of course, there's shard here. Oh, look, a next federation level has been unlocked. That's great, that's great. So we, we have to be very tough, we have to be uh, very watchful, we have to be... Give it our all to support our friends and us. Because, yeah, we now have federal attaches. One unity for each envoy assigned to the federation. So we have two envoys assigned. We get two unity. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's not that great, actually. We have interior lines. Well-charted and patrolled hyperspace corridors within our territory permit unparalleled freedom of movement. Ship speed is increased by 10% while in Federation space. That's very good. Sanctity of office. We have the Federation influence gain. Har rising to the highest office in our Federation is no royal coronation. It's a limitless commitment in service to all sentient life. Nevertheless, the presidency comes with a great deal of prestige. So the president, which means at the moment um, our friends here gain a little bit more um, influence. Now, this is also the point where we should look at first reforms. We could go um, at something like this. So th this would be medium, uh, would be a fleet contribution, a vote weight, and so on. Then we could get to this, which means the cohesion is going to go down, but the naval capacity goes higher. That's not something that we want. We could change um, the succession term but 20 years is kind of okay uh, can subjects join yes of course we want that to happen 
And then there's other things here, like uh, the majority vote. Something we don't need, really. At the moment, as we had only two, president decides. That's something they would support, of course. But we don't want that, because that's undiplomatic. Then we have vote weight. Ah, determined by diplomatic weight. We don't want that yet, because we don't have overwhelming diplomatic weight. They have. Free migration. Uh, migration treaties are free and automatic between all Federation members. That would be good, but um, we already have migration treaty. Now, what it would bring us, let's see. Um, consume migration pact, 0 0.37. So it would give us uh, 0 0.12 influence. And separate treaties. Um, Federation members are prohibited from having research agreements and so on with empires outside of the Federation. That would be supported. That's kind of good, but it decreases the monthly cohesion, which is not a problem at the, at the moment. So it's not that hard. We could do it, but on the other hand, we want to support our outside friends as well for now. Speaking of outside friends, there is something to that. Um, the Elven, the Elven Socialist Commonwealth, they have got into a federation with, with a, with a dominion of Kral, and it's a martial alliance, which means they're gonna have all kinds of things going um, that we don't want to happen. They're both belligerent now. So they will become a threat. The question is, sh should we stay friends with these guys? Or should we just break the research agreement, the commercial pact and the migration treaty and be done with it? Probably it would be the best thing as they, are, they have a pact with probably one of the most dangerous empires in the galaxy, even though their diplomatic weight is horrible because they've been humiliated. So maybe they're not that dangerous, but on the other hand, they have overwhelming fleet power. So they are that dangerous. Are they gonna write out attackers? Maybe, maybe, really, maybe. Um, but it's rather they would go for the Momigil at the moment. So we're gonna stay with that for now. Um. The question is, what does it bring us, right? And that's the other question. So if we get away from that, then they might attack us. But we make them stronger all the time. And they, they are a, like a... Ah! <laughs> You're really not into that. We're really not into that. At least we should break the research agreement and the commercial pact. We don't have to uh, break the migration treaty because we don't want to support them getting more power with the dominion of Kral together. That would be horrible. Yeah, that was a long time speaking, but it's a complicated situation we're in. Um, now we have something coming here and you see we need housing. So um, I think we don't have a choice here at the moment. So we'll, we'll get a district. In the end, we will um, try to transfer this one into Peja Prime or something else and then have Tech World here. So that's the long term goal. Um, we'll give it a T for Tech World. And then we can add. Whoop add this T, the for tech world. Um, that was going to be a unity world. We're just going to give it a U. It's planned economy and we have to plan it like that. And that's a bureaucracy planet. We'll give it a B. Eventually we're going to run out of uh, letters, right? Earth, Earth is the capital for now. For now. Yeah, that's that's right for now. Then we have Elders Refuge Prime. We want to get alloys. I think we're, we're gonna stay away from the from the letters a bit because the letters can be really really I mean if you if you were thinking of something else 
for a while then. These letters give you no information an anymore. It's gonna be the borough. And that's gonna be the capital for now. And payer prime is um, consumer in in the future. And so here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's a lot to defeat in our own borders. Oh, we have a new archaeological site. Where is that? A popular rock. Sensors have detected energy readings. Cluster of asteroids. Further investigation is recommended. Where is that? In the Targon system here. Ah, okay, near the crooks. Well, that would be good to have. I'm still happy about the Federation level. That's so good. And that's the question, really. Should we go and... Um, now that we, we have said that we don't want uh, pacts anymore, research especially, outside of that, we could maybe go... I mean, that's what interdicts that, right? Separate treaties. Mm, we already have now the Lithuids, and that's all that we need. We can prohibit the, the things. The supporters would be the, the Alarians. Centralization should be low or higher. Low. That would unlock a little bit of fleet contribution if we want that. Um, challenge? I don't know if I want that. Um, succession term? We don't want to touch that. Subjects could join. Mm. Yeah. A diplomatic weight. We really don't want that. And it's unlocked by medium. And we have the majority vote. Um, that's unlocked by low, by low. Um, inviting members. Yeah. I think we can try to get to low here. Everyone likes it. Federation is low. And now... We can get to the separate treaties. Oh, they're op they are opposing this now. Can we, like, give them something? Mm, they don't support that. Okay, okay, okay. But we want them to support it, so maybe let's, let's see if we can buy something from them. Which means a favor. We want a favor of you. Like, two favors. Is that good? Uh, give me three favors. We'll give you some resources that we don't need, and you maybe need them. How about minerals? Ah, they don't need minerals anymore. All right, how about food? They need food, that's good. Here we go. As I'm food. Food's perfect. Three favors. Now we can try to convince them with favors. We, one favor would be even enough, so here we go. Getting that down. Special inquiry concluded. No more separate treaties. It's the two of us for now. Despite the fundamentally flawed conclusions, the Voltarm research into computing and virtual worlds was highly advanced and will dramatically aid our own studies. Really nice, look at that. Research speed computing plus 15% and amenities plus 10%. Physics research 500 and Andy Biggs has the expertise computing trade. Wow. That's really good. <sighs> Cannot believe it. It's absolutely stunning. It's it's a really, really good thing to have. Yeah, we need more lawyers, of course. So in the end, let's let's see what we have there. Mm, we also want new shipyards, right? Um And we'll build these shipyards here in the Somot station. We'll build a shipyard, and in the Pager station, we'll build a shipyard. And maybe we can build something else there. When once we have a shipyard, I think there's something else to go for there. Um, on the other hand, we don't really need it. So two shipyards would be great to have, and then. 
I don't. Let's, let's go for a hangar bay here. Um, we already have a hangar bay here. Let's go for a for a missile battery. And to add that on. And here we could have... Um, I mean, I like the listening posts. I also like the hydroponics base. They just add something. Yeah, let's let's get to the hydroponics base. We're gonna we're gonna use everything we can to get resources, 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 resources. And there's again someone of our humans on the slave market. Um, EFG. Of course, we have to free them. We'll try to free the others as, as well. Valid destination planet. We need a valid destination planet. It's Pager Prime. Hey there. Already got something going. What is it what we're going to go for next? Uh, what is it what we're going to need? It's energy credits. We need energy credits at the moment. Let's just build two of these. We have enough minerals. Why do we need energy credits? To potentially buy slaves from the slave market, as you can see. Which is a very good thing, both for our empire and for the slaves that are freed. We don't have the military power at the moment to, to get into this, but yeah, we'll, we'll see further. Now, yeah, the alloys. We need more alloys. Um, because we need more fleet in the, in the end. Together we will build a brighter future. Nice. Improved structural integrity. We have the defense platform hull points plus 500. That's going to be very good for defense. The reinforced framework and blast shields with enhanced impact absorption will ensure structural integrity of the platform even under immense pressure. Uh, we can go for something else. Ah, habitats. We can just go for habitats, but we don't need them right now and we don't have the alloys to... Bring this into reality. Same is true for Star Fortress. Maybe cruisers are good, but really we should improve other things first. I think Iron Thrusters is um, mandatory. And I think Akshara. Verma for now. Is the perfect one to go for this. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Secrets of the Vault Town bonus. Self-aware colony ships. Now, here we go. Feldirnden mm. Anok for now. And in the end, all, all, all of these scientists will also get some, some proper nicknames. Look at that. Why, why don't we have why don't we have a hundred percent when all of this is green? I don't understand. Why is the approval not so high? I really don't understand. I mean, we have 100% approval here. Oh, that's the approval with the leader or what? No, it's the approval of the pops. I don't really know. We have 75% and all is green. Well, shouldn't it be 100? They are very happy. These guys are not that happy because we're not defensive. Still. Together we will build a brighter future. Hmm. We have enough unity to adopt a new tradition, and I, I think we're going to finish these. Now let's let's make the city districts better. One additional housing. We build them for the housing at the moment, so our public growing our growing cities will be augmented by inspired public works on a scale never before seen. To that end, a new government agency must be formed to oversee their construction, and they provide additional housing now, which is pretty good for us. Doctrine Space Combat, Fleet Command Limit plus 20, which makes our fleet potentially bigger. Gradual adaptation to the realities of deep space combat allows us to effectively coordinate larger maneuvers, and we could go for Fleet Supremacy. Edict will uh, prioritize them, but I think it costs influence. I'm not going to do it for now. Let's see what we can do next here. Uh, effective bureaucracy is always good. Mm, colonial bureaucracy with an administrative park is, uh, I think, the thing to go for. But let's see where we get a bonus. We get a bonus on this. Just 5% bonus. But what we really need is this thing. Mm. This would be, let's see, 22 months. This would be 48, uh, 20, 26 months. But it brings us more. Brings us flat out 10. Um, which is better than the 5%. And it brings us the administrative park. Of course, we still we still need the crystals, so we need the crystals first. 
There's that. <laughs> so as we need the crystals first, we might as well go with this and see if we have someone for that not at the moment not at the moment new world is also not a good expertise i think we have that already yeah so there's that we're gonna go for that uh the dry ssr yeah in the end we're gonna have a lot more scientists as our colonies start up there but we need to wait for that a little bit let's see we have more colony ships coming which is good Are we already colonizing this? No, we are not. Then let's let's uh, build another colony ship, the Furbanite, to settle the dry SSR world. Oh, that's already a planned econo uh, colony. Okay. Then uh, Peak of Power is already there because it has 100%. And... This one already planned, yeah, it has, then, what's closer is that thing, the desert world here, let's colonize that as well, with the Furbanites, because no one else has, has something good for this. And there go the alloys. We need more alloys. Yeah, that's another thing. The harsh realities. Now this one. Where could, where could we lead this one? I mean, one constructor this we want here. In progress. Nice. Very good. Very good. See, peak of power prime is, is already starting to gain. Not really that many alloys. Busy improving relations with a crooks coin. Can we get something? Oh my goodness me. Ah, the Gregavius Void Rider. They all again want some tribute. You know what, you, you get get some a battle fleet of our finals where blah blah blah. We know you're your capitalist oppressors and you want something. Imperialist oppressors rather. Uh, barbarians for she of the void for your for your spiritual whatever, your poison of the people. Let's offer the tribute to them. You'll get some minerals because obviously you're not competent enough to get them out yourselves you're not wise to you're wise to not anger she of the void her retribution would have been terrible what would it get i mean it's the it's definitely it's the war philosophy right ah <sighs> forbids wars of aggression i mean, just cannot get to that war philosophy unrestricted wars is not possible How could we, how could we get that? I mean, how could we get to that? We need 55 to overcome. It's probably impossible to do that. So we will have to stay in with the, with the pacts here. There's no other way. Look, at least we're getting a little bit more influence now. Um, we also have other pacts that we, we have ended right now, I think. Um, yeah. Do you not feel lost without the guidance of an elder race? No, we don't. We don't, actually. Um, would you join the Federation? Absolutely not. Okay. Yeah, we have basically closed the Federation now through because of what we've done, but it's going to be good in the end, hopefully. Soul Station is building what it can, and we should really order the next um, one as soon as we can do that. The next colony ship in the Java Construction station. finalized. The Rises R has finished its construction queue. Yeah, and this one. And who died? Oh god, no. Seth Atkins died. At the age of 85. 
That's not good. How's our envoys? Luciana Martin. In there. Doing well. And we're, we're getting a little bit of cohesion loss. Where does that come from? Um, diverse ethics. Truly, where does it come from? Low Federation Centralization, minus one. Oh, that is so costly, is it? It is. Wow, that's really terrible. Well, we're gonna we're gonna stay on that for now. Medium does yeah, that needs even more of that. Let's see, majority vote, majority we don't need that. We also want, always want unanimous vote. Challenge. Medium doesn't unlock anything specific. A low contribution. What would that? That would be. That would be good. That would be really good. Hmm. Then we would have finally a, a fleet. Oh, Ferbenite refugees are coming. They have. Uh, they have arrived on Earth. Oh yeah, they have a stellar culture shock. This formerly a primitive world is undergoing a chaotic upheaval. It is adapts to the co uh, abrupt introduction of advanced technology by the Prigakiti. So that's where the Ferbenites are coming from. They've reached Earth. Well, it's better to have them than, than not have them. But I think we now on Earth need we, we need something again. And that's something would be, I mean, for now, we need housing. And this means for us, we're just going to build a district of generators. Here we go. Then we're limited by uh, the blockers we have there. We should have probably removed them earlier on already. The sprawling slums. That will come after that. Yeah, we can. We have so much energy credits. We can basically let's let's stay with that for now. Um, we had also ordered a colony ship. I think we should order one more. I think it was here, the desert world. Now let's go for the next desert world here, Rakaron Two. Hey, primitive Ferbenites, you are the future of socialism. In this galaxy so glad we we protect our refugees they are valuable members very valuable members of our civilization apparently discourse seeding in progress as we have um quite a number of shipyards now it makes sense to order as many of the colonization ships as possible at that moment. So we've had Rakaron. Next would be here. Rantor. Together we will build a brighter future. Indeed. Uh, Self-aware colony ships. Colony development speed plus 50%. Sufficiently advanced systems are capable of optimizing themselves if they are made act acutely aware of the purpose for which they were made. So we're colonizing faster. That's really good. And um, we need something like this, the mode stabilization. Because we really need modes and, and stuff like this. Um, let's see. We have someone for that. Not at the moment. Ah... <sighs> No really new, no really new ships and stuff, uh, no new expertises and stuff. So it's a little bit. Huh, I'm not convinced. I'm just, just gonna have to stay for that for now. Then later on we're gonna hire, hire, hire.
it's coming. I mean, the, the Earth sector is going to be incredibly powerful. I'm going to see that coming. Oh, um, yeah, we have sadly reached something of a roadblock, says Headmaster Runrik Daniel Rotherak and Club is in disarray. We have nothing to offer at this time. We thank, thank you for your patronage. Um, we hope the situation improves. The Senate is now in session. Against the readied shield. Yeah, yeah, we don't want that. Finalized. Elder's Yif Refuge has finished the construction to pay a starbase as well. And everything is going to be okay. For now. For now. Definitely want the colonization ships ready before we get further systems on. It's now possible to activate one of our relics, but we don't want that at the moment. We don't need it to. Impultorf is the next one. We're saving up for that and then more, more, more. Also military ships. They're probably the, the best thing to have next. Carlo Gamadori. Gaining some experience, and we love that. Look, the Illyrians are gaining a lot, we're gaining a lot. It should be good once we have all that settled settlement going on. We will be in an excellent position. Something new has come up. What was it? Oh, the curators. Um, we would like to extend the deal, dear curators. Because we love your research and there's something new form a galactic council should have a council of leaders to keep order how powerful who is the most powerful the honeybee unity the alarians well we uh, uh, well well uh, well we're in line with the dominion of kral uh Still a Kingdom of Valeria, the Honeybee Unity, the Verbum Laters, the Conglomerate of Rock. I mean, I think we'll oppose that thing. Because of how it will be composed. So we will not do that. No, no Galactic Council, please. Three members, that's that's not good. That's not good. Proposed sanction resolutions, emergency measures denouncing. We don't want that happening here. Earth has something, mm. but we have a job, we have, uh, we could go for something else here. What would we need? Food, we don't need that at the moment. Minerals, we don't need that at the moment. I think we can go for more trade or we can go for gene clinics. The planet is still open for a lot of people, so gene clinics would definitely be a thing. But it will cost us consumer goods again. So, and we already don't have enough of, of them. So, stronghold is something we always need on any planet. So we're going to build the stronghold just because we will all, we will need them at, a, at some kind of point in time. Then we have the burrow. Well, we could always add, yeah, we could add one city district, maybe. Which adds five housing, one clerk job and some amenities. Mm, on the other hand, we could have the agricultural district and that also adds amenities. And that's better for us as we have the agricultural idol. Then we have this. That's not a tech world. What? I mean, on the other hand, it is a tech world, right? So hmm. what could we get in there? More generated districts, of course. Here we don't need anything. Here we might need something. Look at that. Mm, we want that to produce alloys. So we can go straight forward for alloys, or we can go and have something in between. But we don't have, as I already said, the consumer goods for that. So it's better to, better to just straight go for alloy foundries here. And here. Nothing as of yet. Just a little bit of growth. A 
and a lot of a lot of free complete. Jobs. Starbase in Redamon is ready, which is good. Got the research stations there. And 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 and. We colonize that already? No. We're sending it out now. Now it's it's time to militarize. Militarize more. Definitely need that to be going on. Could get a little bit more income here. Opening borders by the Mormigil. Oh, <laughs> All right, they're opening borders to us because why? Because of common enemies, I bet. Mutual threats. Yeah, that's the thing. That's opening up everything. Ah, uh, hegemonic imperialist bandit kingdom is not our preferred federation partner, but whatever. We'll keep the borders open just just to to get them access to something more ah the more megil they're getting crushed at the moment by the antomatons look at them ah my goodness me that is one of the hive minds that's going to be really dangerous and we can only hope the elfin and the dominion of travels progress them. attained effective bureaucracy administrative capacity goes up Proofed algorithms for processing and organizing vast amounts of data, streamlined decision making and information sharing throughout the empire. It's just good. Now let's see. What next? What next? What next? Um, fleet command limit. I think. What is our fleet command limit? It's at 50 and the same is about the naval capacity. So we don't need that right now. That would be maybe be good. The planetary capital. Um, Would be something planetary resurfacing maybe too but i think that's gonna come before that also have a big bonus on that and we also have a specialist mr kingsley you can research this here we come back to the nomad and We'll see. Where where can we send science ships now? Let's see. We have this thing. Peak of Power Prime. We have Peak of Power Prime and we have no one in there. So let's start recruiting. I don't know. We, we just need to recruit someone. We don't need the, the anomaly research anymore. So we'll just go for Pedro Torres as he's youngest. It's the best choice for now. Here we go. Send him here to assist research. Mm. Then we can see if we can get more leaders that are maybe maybe good. We field manipulators. We don't have, I think, any field manipulators, so we'll straight up hire because we have enough income for that. So field manipulation, here we come. And, well, a maniac is always good. Uh, do we have a military theorist at the moment? Not at all. Yeah, let's, let's keep it that way for now. So we're going to need some more science ships in the end. Mm, let's see, we have one in the dry SSR. We have started a planet there, so... We can assign someone. Let's start with with him. Send him there. Then we need two science ships. Uh, for the other things we've started. Or we will start, rather. Where do we want to get them? I think in Peya Station. That would be a good place to get them. Let's get one of them first. And the other then, <laughs> later on. <laughs> it's a long-term plan that we need. 
So we have experienced scientists of every sort that we need. And that will be good in the end for us. So PS Station 1 and another science ship soon be done. Player one, we'll have this man. Send him over to um, Frost Giant Society. Or can he jump? I mean, he could jump. We'll soon have another station ready and then We'll go for like here, the, where the Placid Leviathans are, or here. Is this an, oh, interdimensional trade increases again. The economy is booming, a portal trade, and recent victories over the Borg Beasts. Look at that, and we get really something substantial, mainly consumer goods, which is absolutely good. And exotic trade goods. My god, that is, that is really nice. That is really, really nice. Opening borders by the conglomerate of rock. You no longer see any reason to keep you out of that. They are fanatic xenophobes, though. But they also have a mutual threat. But they're also egalitarian, so. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how I see that. I'm gonna keep them over here. What do we need here? Um, we need just a little bit of a noise. Yeah, we we'll also get that going. As we're getting more alloys right now, which is good. Ah, humans on the market. Paya Prime needs new humans. And we can afford that, thankfully. Paya Prime is growing massively because of that. Uh, Paya Station here. So consumer payer prime, it's gonna be fine. Available jobs with technicians only. Yeah, they will have to sort themselves out because um, on the other hand, yeah, but we can just build one generic district and it's gonna be fine. Research station ready, that is getting built. And, oh, more humans on the market. Not good. We need to free the humans. Uh, Paya Prime. Mm, maybe some somewhere else. I don't know. Barnard Star. Alpha Centauri maybe would love someone. Uh, okay, let's get here to, to serious socialism. Because it's a brain slug. Slug human. And we want that to be a tech world in the end. We have an open job here. Planetary worksite established. Very nice. Peak of power is established, ruled by Simona Bellina, the undying. <laughs> and getting ready to do something there. Um, we have there, we have some uh, further nights, I think. Wait. wait. Yeah, they've started that. They're egalitarians, lithoids, communal docile, wasteful though, with, but wasteful isn't really a problem at this point anymore. Oh, um, we could just give them something to work with. They don't need amenities right now, but maybe a little bit of housing. I think generator district will be good, as we need generator districts a lot at the moment. On Earth. Ah, look at this. No. Finally, got something here for more administrative offices. Oh, yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we want to support the artisan troops still. My friends. Ah. But it costs so much. It costs so much. We need to get to the solid liquidity again. These human slaves have their cost, you know. So that's why we need more and more energy credits. Among everything. Construction complete. Starbase in Nunus. 
very good. Here we go, and we can build a mining station there. Oh, there's something else we wanted to do. There's Senidas. Yeah, we, we want to get that thing to Senidas. We can already build something. Look at that. Yeah, then let's do that. Scientific progress attained. Moat stabilization. Moat harvesting traps. Finally. We can exploit that resource. Moat, volatile moats are fickle particles that are dangerous to work with. In order to safely harvest them without setting off a chain reaction of explosions, energy fields must be used to stabilize the moats. So we've got that, and that is really, really nice. Um, we could go basic combat drones, but we don't have a bonus for that. Um, disruptors, we like very much. Energy credits, would be great to work with. Mm -hmm. Ah. It's hard to tell. We're going to need to overload some, some kind of way. Mm. Basic combat roles. But we need to war ships before. I mean, yeah. In the end, we'll need that. That's from the crooks. Bonus from the crooks for the disruptors. <sighs> I mean, disruptors would really make our life a lot easier. We could just arm all of our ships with disruptors before we want to have the combat roles, but before we really want to have more energy credits. That's what we need right now. Um, but I think Meng Lin with his 15% is not as good as our current scientist that is on that. So we're going to let him learn for a bit and then we'll go and go for something more. Together we will build a brighter future. Iron thrusters. These electric thrusters use beams of irons to generate thrust without the need for propellant. Of course, extremely good. Um, we don't need more minerals at the moment. We, we would really like to have probably mega forges. Exotic gas refineries come to mind too. We have a bonus on that from the crooks. We have a bonus on that from the crooks. Yeah, the, the gas refineries kind of have to come first. We're gonna get our specialist fox on that. And uh, here we go. We have no leader assigned here. What? How is that coming? Where is that coming from? Here we go. Um, need a new leader. We have one. I think we had one. Yeah, here. Yeah. Our good maniac. Let's Move him over there. So. Yeah, we need more Lloyds. <laughs> there goes that. And we, we also might need more science ships. As we're settling more and more. Look at that. <laughs> the chain of colony ships. It, it's coming. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. But this is also soon going to be ready. Yeah, we don't know. We, we could maybe... Planetary worksite established. Very good. The dry SSR. Really cool. We have poor quality minerals here, though. Um, yeah, we're just going to go for what we always do at the moment. Generate districts. One more generator district. And we have Science Ship and Pager. That will get, um, well, the youngest. This one. We'll send him, I don't know, here. And for the moment, another Science Ship will be good. Oh. 
Just gonna get going. Construction finalized. Need the mining stations. Ah, for for now it's planned economy. It's it's mainly economy, but we will make the transition in time. Be sure of that. Mm, there's something. Look at that. Yeah, we want to get that going. We can now build the moat catchers. We can also build a moat catcher here. Here we go. Oh, and a trick a story. I also have one. Let's get you here, and once you are finished, uh, once you are finished, you also get gonna get going here. To get our moats going. Bikal have named the Prikikiti their rival, and the Prikikiti are really getting out of hand. Mind boggles at the rationalizations you must make for the evolution and continued existence of the human race. Ugh, Gardeners of the Dream Flower, yeah, 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 and the Cricket and Buggers leveled up. We're getting there, we're getting there with the influence. Uh, with the, I mean, with the science ships, assisting research. For learning, my friends, for learning. Administration is getting better, too. We have solid liquidity again. Yay! And I think we need one more science ship at Pager. Ah, nice, nice. Anya Nabudiri. Anya Nabudiri, we will send you here. Well, let's see, let's, let's look at our new AI. Assisting research already. Assisting research already. Research assist, research assist, research assist. Research assist, and... Research assist. These are those not yet, but that will come in time. I have no doubt about that. And the alloys are they keep coming in. It's so great. We can now start to further our fleets again. Let's see ship designer. So we want to get the peacemaker. We want to make it better. Iron thrusters with chromatic sensors. Not yet a better computer, I fear. Afterburners are really necessary. Yeah, so the peacemaker's ready, but uh, alas, not good enough. Get some armor instead. And the prole. Get the thrusters. Save it as well. The fleet is ready for more peacemakers. Reinforce. Gonna get that going on. Construction complete. Mining stations ready. Pretty good. Ah, look at this. More moats for us. More moats for the community. We're making great progress. Everything is going according to plan. Discourse seeding in progress. Nice. And as I I think we can already start assisting research here, yeah. I mean, I don't know whom we are going to assist, but <laughs> at least we're gaining some experience for that. Everything is in place and prepared for the be what the best of the best can offer. Establishing means of production. Nice. So, 
here as well in Endirlang our communist brethren have opened up another Soviet Republic let's assist research on Endirlang Prime and Jose Maria del Cruz is now resilient oh that's nice so he's taken up galactic esports probably and that makes him extremely resilient because if you survive galactic esports galactic esports is even crazier than, than today's esports it's just against the whole galaxy you've got to have an apm of 7000 with some illegal uh cybernetic implants that are of course not illegal but furthering the experience of uh the socialist uh brethren so there's it's only illegal for the others bigs leveled up nice we could activate the relic we don't want that we don't need that construction complete mining stations ready we're getting moats 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 my friends moats moats are gonna be great our research has progressed Colonial centralization, the planetary capital is coming. The Hall of Judgment, first frameworks for the local governments created on a per ba case basis to meet each colony's needs. Well, we're gonna get better. Global defense grid, defense army health goes up and the fortress unlocks, which needs moats, so that's gonna be okay. On the other hand, we have we could have naval capacity, but we, we are not at the peak of the naval capacity already, so uh, not go, gonna go for that right now. Mm, hostile environment adaptation would be good, but we don't have a bonus for that. The defense grid would bring us something from the crooks. This stuff from the Alarians. But what would be the long term best thing? And I think it would be hostile environment adaptation for now. So we're going to go for that. Further it a little bit. get into that fully because we're not at the moment at the at the army level mm, let's see i mean we we have more star base capacity now we've seen that and we i think we might need one more star base here and on the other hand maybe one more star base here in, in between we have a one of pager uh, we could have one here at the Frost Giant Society, maybe. Mm, on the other hand, we, we want the fleet up first, right? So let's build some destroyers again. Uh, reinforce them. We cannot reinforce the fleet. What is going on there? Oh, look at that. Quelmudar Council is now a protectorate of the Bikal armed scientists. Hmm. We'll just reinforce the fleet a bit here. Soviet defense force is getting stronger. Stronger, stronger, stronger. Construction finalized. Nice. Moats for the people. Oh, we also need consumer goods for the people, my friends, but yeah it's gonna go on hopefully soon hey there um oh the headmaster kunrik den rothrak here follows the latest newsletter enclave has been busy uh, the last couple of months the halls are abuzz with a new kind of technology invented by a resident capable of transmitting sensations to smell to a user smell to a user this remarkable piece of machinery will surely change everything uh, excuse me headmaster did you fart oh that was that was that was a poem Oh, it was a it was a poop poopy poops poem. All right. In order to further develop this idea, we will require more donations. Yeah, you should improve. You should definitely improve the the, the smells to better to better go for like better poems, better smelling poems. Please concentrate on that. We we love your art. Don't get me wrong. But we need it to be true socialist art, not like like capitalist, uh, capitalist Marx Brothers art. Um, not against the Marx. I mean, I know, no, um, 
Yeah, Marx was great, but the Marx Brothers really that that was of course that wasn't that was too mischievous for a, for a true socialist society. No, I'm speaking not of Karl. I'm speaking of Groucho and so on. Ah, Lex Martin Luther has died. It's a true tragedy that this fine explorer has died now. But it's not a tragedy that we'll get someone with a brain slug on. That uh, is apparently a propulsion expert. That is indeed something very good for our society. Ah, oh, a human. We need we need to save the humans. Save the humans. Here. Um, where do we want to get him? To pay ya, probably. Currently, it's only the humans, but we will we will get more out of out of slavery. We swear, we swear. That's why we are we're getting for energy credits so so excessively. Mm. And look, we can already go for civilian industries just like it was planned. Here we go. Conglomerate of rock is going on. With the rivals, the dream flower guys. Ah, well, they have still survived. The prickiki tea. Discourse seeding in progress. The prickiki tea. I I say to you. They are a problem in itself. Oh, look at that. We have oh communications with the brigand and commerce exchange. It appears they have successfully translated our language. I speak on behalf of the Riggin Commerce Exchange. We have facilitated trade negotiations between interested parties on our station, the Norberg system, for more than a thousand of your years. If you happen to possess more resources than you need, more than willing to take it off your hands, you will be duly compensated, of course. Well met. Um, yeah, I think we can do something there. They're just peaceful traders, and we want strategic resources. Especially volatile modes. I mean, do we need volatile modes right now? No, we don't need them. So we're not going to buy them. It's as easy as it is. Uh -huh. Peak of power. We've got the research assist. We've got this research assisting. And everyone is assisting research. It's good. It's good. It's good. New sectors are coming. Among that, yeah. Oh, look, dry SSR. Yeah, dry SSR was already there. We have the peak of power prime, and everything is gonna work out in the end. Believe in us. Believe in us, and believe in yourself, because that is the spirit of of true socialist progress, my friends. Believe in the in the us, and believe in yourself, and uh, tolerate everyone. That can be tolerated. Integrate everyone that can be integrated. And uh, other than that, may your, may your spirit stay strong, comrades. This galaxy is ours to propagate peace. And soon, in the, in the view of all these wars that are going on, especially with that ravenous hive, everyone will be happy to be relieved from by socialism oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. don't look at that it's not it's it's not relevant for us right now we're gonna have so much so much fleet it's gonna be so powerful it's there's gonna be so much winning see you comrades and have a great time until then and happy gaming